Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 16 is finally coming out to the public and it's happening in three days from now. That will be September 12th. Of course, it's Monday. So at around 10 a.m. Pacific time, you can expect iOS 16 to come out and of course hit your device. But there are of course a few things you need to do before you try to update your iPhone to iOS 16. So in this video, I will show you guys five things that I think are very important and you should know and do before you try to update your iPhone. Now, the first thing you want to do before you update your iPhone to iOS 16 is check if you're subscribed to the channel or not. Most of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed, so that would be really, really helpful. So make sure you subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And of course, you will find a ton of new iOS 16 videos once iOS 16 gets released to the public. And now let's get started. Now, first of all, you have to know whether your device is supported or not by iOS 16. Now last year Apple released iOS 15 and it supported the same devices as iOS 14. So from the iPhone 6s Plus and of course 6s and the original SE, all the other devices that those ones and of course all the other ones have been supported. They didn't drop support with iOS 15, but this year they actually did drop support for the iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, the original SE, and very unfortunately, Apple has also dropped support for the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus. So if you have any of those devices, unfortunately, you won't be able to install this update and you won't get, of course, an update on your device at all. So first of all, you have to know that to install iOS 16 on your device, you need to have an iPhone 8, 8 Plus or newer. The next thing you should do is back up your device. Before you update your device, make sure you do a backup. Now this update should of course go very smoothly and most likely you won't have any problems, but just in case, make sure you always have a backup of your data. Now you can do that of course by backing up from iCloud here. So you go to settings to your iCloud profile and make sure that you have turned on iCloud backup and you can back up your iPhone to your iCloud. Or if you don't want to do that, you can connect your iPhone to your computer, open iTunes if you have a Windows, open Finder if you have a Mac, and just go ahead and back up your device. That process should just take a few minutes and of course you will have all your data secured just in case something goes wrong. Again, most likely nothing will go wrong and this will be a very smooth update for everyone, but you never know, so better safe than sorry. Make sure you back up your device before updating to iOS 16. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have enough free space on your device to update to iOS 16. Now this software update will come to your device at around five to six gigs. Of course, that will be always different on different devices. On older devices, the update will be smaller. It will be bigger on the newer ones, but it won't install if you don't have enough free storage. This happened to me while I try to update on the beta, it asked me to free more storage in order for the device to be updated. Now you can do that simply by going to general settings and make sure you have about 10 gigs free on your device. So you go to settings, general iPhone storage. And from here, you can of course see how much free storage you have. And you will have here options where basically iOS will tell you what you can do to free up space on your device. And of course you will also see like apps here that are taking a lot of storage on your iPhone. So apps like for example, TikTok or Snapchat or Twitter or Facebook, whichever one of these apps is taking a lot of space. Those of course have data that have saved on your iPhone locally that is taking a lot of space because here you can see we have the app at 292 megabytes while the documents and data are at 460. What you can do in this case, if you don't have any other option, to actually free up storage, you can delete a few of these big apps and then of course reinstall them on your device once the update is done. And of course you have everything there, but you just delete them temporarily in order to make free storage for your iPhone if you want to update it to iOS 16. As you might know, lately Apple has added this option that will allow users to now completely update their device using a seller data. Now, of course, to do this, you will have to have at least like six gigs on your seller data plan because, of course, the software is quite big when you try to download it. So if you want to use your seller data and you don't have an unlimited plan, 
make sure that you have enough data there in order for the software to be downloaded. So you can see right here, this is what you will get when you try to update it. will ask you if you want to use seller or not. If you choose to use seller, make sure that you actually have more than like five gigs on your seller data plan. You can see right here, the software was at around five gigs on my device, the iPhone 12 Pro Max here. So based on your device, and of course the updates that you get, you probably know how, how big the size will be if you have an older device you're probably looking at around four gigs but just make sure that you have enough data on your plan if you just have the option from seller to update to ios 16. now if you're on ios 16 beta or public beta a lot of people are i know a lot of people have tested this software during summer and you want to update to the official version of ios 16 what you want to do is head on to your settings go to general right here and go to vpn and device management and make sure you have deleted the ios 16 software profile now once you have deleted this of course you tap there you remove it then just wait for the public release of ios 16 and it should show up on the software updates section on the settings app but if you have installed the rc version which was released wednesday then you won't get that update at all now the rc version will be the exact same version as the public ios 16 version so that means that you already have that installed in your device and it doesn't matter if you remove the profile or not you're not getting a new update because it's the exact same software it just gets released to the devs a few days before it gets released to the public and last but not least, an extra quick tip, if you just want to update the minute iOS 16 comes out and you can't wait to try out the cool new features, make sure you have enough battery on your iPhone. Now this right here won't work. The iPhone won't update, won't install the update if the battery is lower than 50%. So if you just want to get your hands on iOS 16 as quick as possible, make sure you have enough battery over 15% over 50% actually on your device before trying to install iOS 16 on your iPhone. So that's it for this video guys. These are five things that I believe every iPhone user should do before they try to update to iOS 16. Now again, iOS 16 is coming out Monday, September 12th. It's an amazing, amazing update. I really like this one the new lock screen, and of course, all the enhancements on other features that Apple has done, like iMessage, email, and all that stuff are really, really great. And you will really enjoy this update from iOS 16. So what I would ask you guys to do is if you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I will be releasing a ton of really cool new videos once iOS 16 comes out. Starting from Monday, you will see a ton of video. I'm trying to do like at least two videos a day. That will be really, really fun. So if you don't wanna miss those videos, please make sure to subscribe. And of course, leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.